Hey guys, it's Marisha from Marisha's Couture Cakes and today we are going to make some delicious, flaky, sensitive, okay, here's what you'll need. In case you don't feel like going through the two hour process of making a laminated dough, you can always use Grand's Crescent Rolls. Pop those babies open and spread them out on your surface. You basically want to try to make like a big sheet of dough. And that can be a little bit difficult considering that there are a bunch of triangles, but you're just going to do what you got to do. Pinch them, pat them, smack them, and make it work. Eventually roll them together and it's supposed to all stick but it may not if it looks like mine so it doesn't matter just uh, fold one side over and then the other side just make it look somewhat like that then you're gonna roll it out just up and down and then you're going to fold it again and that's the fold that we were trying to accomplish the first time pat it I like it okay roll that out just up and down you're not going to roll it out sideways and then once again do that fold turn that over give it one good quick roll and that is it delicious Grab your larger circle cutter and you're going to make your two cronuts. Yes, I'm so sorry. It only makes two per package. But, you know, I don't know. You just have to make more. That's, I don't know. Then grab your smaller circle cutter and create the donut hole or cronut hole. You're going to put that aside because you're definitely not about to throw that away. That's a good cronut. Look how flaky. I like it. Grab a pan or a pot and add a little bit of oil, enough to cover the cronuts. And you're going to just take your scraps and just, you know, I don't know, smack them, roll them up. So just, you know, they'll be tasty. It won't even matter. Test your oil with a wooden spoon or a chopstick. Little bubbles should come around the chopstick when it's inserted into the oil. I'm going to use chopsticks to turn them over and maneuver them. You do want to be mindful that it is, you know, dough. They'll get brown very fast on the outside and they may still be doughy on the inside. So just let them go for about five or six minutes. Try to let them go as long as possible before taking them out. If you feel like they are still doughy on the inside, pop them in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. And then don't forget your little uh, donut uh, dang legs looking things. My cronuts are draining and I am making a glaze with milk and confectioner sugar. I also put a little bit of lemon extract in there too. And in the other plate I've got some coconut, shredded coconut. You do want to coat them with something because they aren't sweetened. You know, it's, it's like the Pillsbury Crescent Roll still. So you do want to make sure that you fill it with something tasty or you roll it in something tasty. You can even do a brown paper bag method. Just put powdered sugar and cinnamon in a brown paper bag and put all of your donut holes in there. I wouldn't recommend doing the actual donuts that way because they are very fragile. The, the layers will start to come apart in your hand. So just be mindful of the cronut action that you're trying to take on. Make sure to eat them while they're still hot. It makes all the difference. They taste uh to the may to the zing. Make sure to do this at home and let me know how much you love them. Couture and a cronut. Bye guys.